Hey guys, how's it going? Like Butter here, and I sent out a tweet the other night, and I was talking about this class that I've been trying out for the last couple of days that has been working uh, working out for me a lot, and it's been my favorite class and I talked about it on Twitter and a lot of people said that they wanted me to post a video talking about it because they needed some suggestions uh, some ideas to throw some new classes into their arsenal so uh, Black Ops or excuse me Treyarch threw a new thing in the Black Ops where you can customize your class a lot more than you could in the other Call of Duties so what I'm gonna show you right now is my SMD class other known as suck my dick son no not the son but uh, this class freaking rapes. So what you're going to do is grab the MP7, which is the first submachine gun that you unlock. So this class should be available to most of you. Um, obviously, you're going to have to get to a little higher level. Like, I think it's level 32 to get Flak Jacket. But once you hit level 32, this is going to be your go-to class if you have a play style like mine. I'm not the type of person that likes to sit in windows and sit in corners like all these other people with assault rifles. So I'm very impatient when it comes to not only video games, but everything in real life. I'm a very uh, busybody, I guess, where I want to be around the map multiple times very quickly uh, and, you know, engaging in multiple gunfights. So this class is going to get you to do that. This is also going to be pretty good for maybe some objective game types like Capture the Flag where maybe you're playing an offensive role where you have to get from one end of the map to another end very quickly and be able to take out anything in your path. So first thing you're going to equip is the MP7. And I prefer a reflex sight because it makes it so that you can use this gun at medium to long ranges uh, if you single shot it. And also, it's just easier for me, easier for my eyes. I don't necessarily like the MP7 iron sight, but if you do like the MP7 iron sight, you could change this around. You could do a suppressor, um, maybe even a foregrip. I haven't tried that Uh Fast mag, any any of these will work. I tend to go with the reflex scope. So if you're going with uh, exactly what I'm doing, then I would suggest the reflex sight. And then for my second uh, secondary, I'm just using the last pistol that you unlock. You can use. I don't recommend using this pistol. This pistol sucks. Um, but anything, any kind of pistol that you enjoy. So. Uh, what I'm going to get into now is the new thing that they added. So if you just started playing Black Ops, you might be like, I, I don't understand how you have two perks. So they added something called Wild Cards. And what Wild Cards will allow you to do is, uh, you know, pick two perk ones or pick two perk twos. Or you could have two primary weapons or you can have three attachments. It's just something that they put into the game that makes it a lot more customizable to your specific gameplay or to your specific um um, you know your style of playing so what I'm using right now is the perk 1 greed and the perk 3 greed now I'm pretty sure you can only have 10 slots so I decided to go with flak jacket and lightweight now flak jacket is very useful against grenades you know anything of that matter um, you have to get to level 32 like I said but it's not that big of a deal this will save you from any bouncing beddies, um, any grenades thrown from long range. People love throwing grenades. It's super, super helpful, and it's so it saves me so many times, you have no idea. And you're going to want to have this perk with this um, with this class because you're going to be running into their spawn a lot. You're going to be running around, and you want to make sure you can get by those grenades with no problem. So, of course, the second perk one being lightweight because this is going to be a run-and-gun class. Um, and then toughness. Uh, what this does is it reduces the flinch when you're shooting and you're going to be engaging multiple enemies with this class so you want to make sure to have this it's very helpful plus most of the perk 2 classes are kind of poopy anyways of course scavenger is pretty good if you're playing like a defensive role uh, in capture the flag or something like that but um, toughness seems to be the only one that I use and then for perk 3 you're going to put on dexterity in extreme conditioning dexterity you aim faster after sprinting which remember you're gonna be sprinting a lot you're gonna be moving around a lot and also you can climb things faster so you're just gonna be quick as hell going around the map and then of course extreme conditioning just like extreme conditioning is in all of the other games types um, or all of the other Call of Duties excuse me um, you can just run around without having to stop as much which is very very helpful uh, and this class is just beast I've recommended it to a couple of friends they love it they've been doing great with it I want you guys to go out and try it and see if it's something that you like see if it's something that 
uh, works good for you because like I said I'm the type of person that needs to run around you know I'm not gonna be waiting uh, I'm gonna actually show you some clips here of um, how this gun is very helpful and all of these clips were from under an hour of recording I'm not kidding and it was unbelievable so let's get into it really quick alright so all of these clips were recorded with just an hour's time I I promise you guys this was all recorded very quickly you can even see that some of them are in the same game and I'm not an amazing Call of Duty player I, I'm not even I wouldn't even consider myself good I just just a decent average player and um, if I can get this many kill feeds in I think I think it, it was around 45 minutes only three or four games then I, it's scary to think about what some of you players who are really good at the game are gonna be able to do with it look at how bad that guy just got turned on so you can just see me using the reflex scope as much as possible remember it's just easier on my eyes you might want to switch it up and uh, I am dying most of the time after I you know kill three or four people and the reason for that is because I'm drawing so much attention to myself. This is where possibly the silencer could come in hand. So if you can deal with the iron sight on the MP7, then maybe the silencer would be better for this class. But look at that, just taking everybody out. And uh, I think that was a fault by my teammates. If you go back and look at that clip, um, there's four teammates around me. Four, and they were all trying to snag my kills instead of you know watching the area around it a guy came right right up behind me and killed me so these things can be avoided if you're playing with a full team and I was just playing with one other friend at this time so I wasn't completely aware of what was going on all the time because nobody was communicating it was very difficult but here's just another example of me running in and just taking out the entire team Inbound. So once again, showing that it's not completely necessary to reload every time. Um, and you could always switch to that pistol and get some kills. That's what I tried doing right there, but it didn't work out for me. And uh, in this last clip, you're going to see how Flak Jacket saved me tremendously. And then, uh, you know, we win the match. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed or you learned something from this video. Let me know some feedback. Uh, leave some comments in the comment section. Did you try it out? Did you like it? This this is my, my uh, challenge to you guys. I want you guys to go on, use this class, and send me your best gameplay using my class. And I will uh, accept it as a video response to this video. So thanks again for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you guys later.